In this video, I'm excited to share with you that Grid Builder WP just released an add-on plugin for Beaver Builder. Grid layouts are an amazing way of displaying and filtering content on your WordPress website. The problem is that creating grid layouts for WordPress websites hasn't always been that straightforward. The good news is that if you've been looking for a powerful, easy to use grid builder for WordPress that allows you to add custom facets, filters, searches, maps, and more, then stay tuned to this tutorial. You will have your first WordPress grid up and running today. Be sure to stick around to the end. I will also share with you a very limited time lifetime deal for our very own Beaver Builder community. Let's head over to my WordPress demo shop and get started. What I love about this plugin is that it allows you to build advanced grid layouts quickly with custom search and filtering capabilities for your e-commerce shop, blog, portfolio, real estate, artwork, or whatever else you would like to feature on your site. This is my very first time even using Grid Builder, and I found it super easy to get started. Here's how to get started with Grid Builder, WP, and Beaver Builder. First, we will need to be sure that we have the Grid Builder WP plugin as well as the Beaver Builder plugin installed and activated on our WordPress site. Once installed, you will see that there is a new tab for Grid Builder WP in the left menu bar with a number of options and settings. In this video, I will simply cover the basic settings. Let's begin by creating our first grid. To create a new grid layout, we'll go to Grid Builder WP and click on All Grids on your WordPress admin menu. You will be taken to the All Grids screen, which if you've just installed the plugin is empty for now. You will see here that there is an option to get started with some demo grids. I found this to be a great way to get accustomed to how Grid Builder works. So let's go ahead and select all of the grids and click import. In this video, I will walk you through creating a grid from scratch. Go ahead and click on the create a grid button in the upper right corner. Next, you would name your grid. Next, we can click on each of these sections and walk through to customize how we want our grid to appear. In this example, I'm going to choose to show our blog posts. So here I will choose post types and I'm pretty much leaving everything else default for now. Under that, you can set the number of items per page, use the value minus one to show all posts, or zero defaults to the number of posts per page in WordPress settings. Below post types, you can choose the post status of the content you want to display in your grid. You have a couple of options, but I would recommend sticking with published. As we scroll down, we will note options that help to order our grid content by values, tags, and custom fields. Next, head to media formats. Here we can choose the media formats that we'd like to use in our grids. Grid Builder supports galleries, videos, and audio. Towards the bottom of the screen, we can set a default thumbnail in each grid card, just in case the content is missing. Go to grid layout to customize your grid. By default, you have three grid styles, masonry, metro, and justified. Let's stop here and publish. Now that we've created our first grid, we need to be able to set it up using Beaver Builder. As I mentioned in the beginning, Grid Builder WP just released an add-on plugin for Beaver Builder. This is a free add-on available with any paid Grid Builder WP plan. And you can find this plugin here under the add-ons tab on the Grid Builder WP website. And of course, I'll leave a link to this page as well as everything I talk about in this video in the description below. Let's head back over to our WordPress site so that we can install and activate the Grid Builder WP Beaver Builder add-on plugin. Now we are all set up so that we can easily insert the grid that we created into a Beaver Builder page. Let's create a new page and give it a title. Next, click on the Launch Beaver Builder button to open up the editor. In this example, I would like to have a sidebar on the left-hand side of the page, so I will click on Rows, 
and drag and drop a left sidebar row onto the page. From the module tab, let's scroll down to the bottom and here you will see there are two new modules, grid and facets. Go ahead and drag and drop into the column on the right, the grid module. Here we will need to select the grid. Over here in the left column, I want to set up facets which will allow our website visitors to filter, search, and sort the content that we have displayed on the right. In order to do this, we will need to save this page so that we can come back to it in a minute and head back to our WordPress dashboard. Scroll down to Grid Builder WP and click on All Facets. From here, you can select all and import the demo content to get started, or we can click on this green button to create our own. We have two options here, naming and behavior. Let's start by giving our facet a name. I'm gonna call this one sort order. For the title, I'm going to go ahead and use the same name, sort order. This is what you will see on the front end of your site. Next, click on behavior. And on this page, we can further customize our facet. The first option is facet action. In this example, we want to sort, so we can go ahead and select sort. You will see that our options on the page will change depending upon the action that we choose. Now we can set up our sort options and start by giving our first sort option a label. For this one, I'm going to call it sort A to Z and order by post title and choose ascending. We can continue to set up as many sort options as we would like to have. For drop down, we can choose to include a combo box or leave this unchecked. Go ahead and click to save changes and we have created our first facet. I'd like to create another, so let's click on create and I want to add a search. So let's name this one search. For facet action, we want to select filter. And for filter type, we want to select search field. In the search placeholder field, we can enter some text. I'm simply going to type search. Next, we can choose our search engine. In this example, we only have WordPress to work with, so we'll choose WordPress. We can also set the search number and search relevancy. Once we have finished up, go ahead and click on save to save our changes. For this example, I'd like to add one more facet to show you here. So let's click on create a facet, give this one a name. I'm going to call it category. And we're going to use this to sort our categories. Click on behavior. We will use filter once again, and this time choose check boxes. I think we can leave the default settings. However, if you aren't sure what a field represents, you can simply click on the eye to see the tooltip. Now that we have created facets, the next step is to add them to our page. Go to pages and open up our page for editing with Beaver Builder. Under the modules tab, scroll down to Grid Builder WP and drag and drop in the facet module. Under the Settings tab, select a facet from the dropdown. In this example, let's add the search. Next, select the grid or module you'd like to filter. In this example, we will choose the grid that we created. Next, let's drag and drop in another facet and set this for category. Our third option is sort. And let's drag this facet above our grid. Once you've finished up, go ahead and click on Save and Publish. And now we can take a look and see how this works on the front end. And this looks really good. Note that you can use Beaver Builder post modules in place of the Grid Builder grid. In this example, I'm simply going to drag the post module onto the page. We will need to update the module to filter field within the facets modules so that they work with our new grid. Click on the facet module. 
Let's click on the search module. And here we will set our module to filter to our Beaver Builder post module. Once we've finished up, let's go ahead and click to save and publish. And let's take a look at our new page. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I promised you that I would share with you this limited time offer for our Beaver Builder community. Head over to wpgridbuilder.com forward slash beaver dash builder dash deal. And you'll be able to get your hands on a lifetime deal of Grid Builder at a steep discount. The best part is that they offer a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you're not quite sure if this is the right plugin for you, you can definitely give it a try. To keep watching, go ahead and click on the next video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.